What is going on guys, Bob Voyage here and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be talking about and comparing One Piece of Bizarre Adventures with NRPG Beyond which is this game right here. So let's get started. First of all, the reason I think it's valid and it's fine to be able to compare these two games is because they were both in the top 10, uh, what's it called again, they were both in top 10 of the popular games. So what I mean by this is if you go into Roblox, click games, then go to the popular section, this is in the top 10. And One Piece Bizarre Adventures was also there before it was made a thousand Robux. Alright guys, so just as I was about to start talking about the combat between both of the games, I suddenly get glitched. So look at what happens here. When I try to play, it just freezes every time I try and join the game. This is a different game every time. So watch this. Okay, he's going to turn around and I'm going to click play. And, yeah, nothing happened. <laughs> I just actually don't know what to do. There's no way to, like, reset data or anything. You know, I'm just glitched. I actually have no idea what to do. So I'm going to have to go and talk about this in OPBA. So I'm afraid one downside, guys, is is the fact I can't play the game. <laughs> but also, uh, just uh, the glitches in general. There's, I've noticed a few of this, these glitches. I think the reason this happened is because I jumped off the map and suddenly my game froze and I couldn't do anything and now this is just happening so I'm not really sure. In terms of combat, I think this game is better. Reason being, back in uh, an NRPG Beyond, when you're fighting NPCs, you constantly get hit and then as soon as you're hit, there's nothing you can do, you're in a loop of defeat because they'll eventually kill you, you're gonna, get, you're gonna keep getting hit unless you somehow get lucky and like evade or something but the chances are the, the NPC is going to kill you because it's going to constantly keep hitting you and you're not going to be able to escape. So I guess it's called a lock in a way, but in this game I think it's a lot easier. So if I was to go to these guys here and not attack them, I could probably just, uh, what's it called again? I could just attack like this. Oh, never mind, I just got... What the hell was that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what was that? Is that a hack or something? What, what the hell? What even was that? <laughs> what? I mean, this game is susceptible to glitches as well, as you can see here. So I just glitched the hell out. I just want to show that combat in this game is a lot easier. But I clearly can't, because as soon as I spawn in, I get freaking insta-killed. So, so here, as you can see, when I'm attacking, all right, it doesn't affect them. It doesn't affect the way they, they move or anything. I'm just punching them like this, so it doesn't even affect them. Whereas in NRPG Beyond, it really actually, you know, it's annoying because it makes you, it stuns you and you move. And there's nothing you can actually do. Whereas in this game, you can see that it does not stun them. Oops, I did not mean to hurt you, sir. The next point, guys, I'm going to bring up is complexity. So, in my opinion, I just favor this game in that category because this is just much simpler. In NRPG, or NR, is it? NRPG Beyond. It's just like really complex. There's so much to think about. This, I think, is just too much for me, as a as a player. But I mean, a lot of I know a lot of guys. Uh, a lot of a lot of you guys will actually really like that it's complex. But just in my opinion, I feel like uh, more simple games, where you can level up with only some set of skills, and you can actually like get rare stuff. And the rare stuff will give you like better equipment. Whereas in NRPG Beyond, it's like there's just so much. Like you've got uh, all these jit, all these jutsus, all these kinds of jutsus. They're all different. You can get companions. You can get skills like uh, what's it called again, ninjutsu and all that stuff. This guy thinks he's god. Not very nice. So I'll just use this on him. <laughs> well, he froze me. Anyways, so back to the point. I'm about to die. Oh well. I was going to try and reset there just to be annoying, but I'll remind. Anyways, so what I was going to say was... I'm talking about complexity here. Alright. NRPG Beyond is much more complex than this game right here. One second. If these guys don't mind, I'm just going to go ahead and use this. Just for fun. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just felt like doing that. Alright, I'm just going to go hide here. Just so they don't find me, you know. I don't want to be... The victim here, so yes. Okay, so on to professional level. Professional levels, I would have to put 
an RPG beyond ahead there because it's quite obvious. I mean, it just seems more professional. It seems like a lot more effort has been put into it as opposed to this game here, One Piece Bizarre Adventures. Many signs of that include all the sound effects, for example, when you click things or when you change the different things. One big side of this game, guys, is PvP. I just feel like PvP is way better in this game. Like, just everything about it, so like stunning, all that stuff. As opposed to NRPG Beyond, where you can't really be toxic. Compared to here, you can be really toxic to people because you can freaking, uh, what's it called again? It just seems like the environment is a lot easier to annoy people in. So, for example, if I was to come here, and, like, sneak around to here, this guy Kia is really annoyed at me because <laughs> I keep shooting him from behind. So basically, oh, he left. No, he didn't, never mind. Anyways, I need to I need to be careful here because this guy, Kia, is really annoyed at me. So I need to be careful. Anyways, what I was going to say is PvP is just, in my opinion, a lot better in this game. Because, I'm going to see if I can kill him with a combo, so. That's him over there, he's going to try and kill me. When he comes towards me, I'm going to freeze him with a, what's it called again, and then I'm going to start shooting him. That's the tactic anyways, guys, so. I think you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide inside this tree. Hopefully he doesn't see so I'm gonna hide inside if I can get in. He comes here. I can use this attack on him. So there we go. And I can shoot him. Hopefully that's gonna kill him. And there we go. He's very triggered. <laughs> it's actually so fun triggering people. That is why PvP in this game is just like it's just better. Like you could just trigger people like this. <laughs> I literally hid and then I killed him and he's always look how annoyed he is, dude. And the last point I wanna bring up today guys is the fact that none of these games have a map, okay? I just feel like if you were to join this game, you would spawn at, where's it again? You spawn at uh, that island over there? So if you were to spawn there, you'd be like, where the hell do I go? What do I do? You know, I just feel like there could be like more guidance in the game. So if, they, if you could spawn with like a map, they just showed you like all the, the islands in the place. But maybe not all the islands, maybe just the main islands. So like it showed you basically like the middle mountains, but maybe it didn't show you like this island for example, or the island with the the second level hacky. But yeah, I, I don't think they should, uh, the map should not include Skylands as well. I think Skylands are more like a secret kind of thing. Same with NRPG Beyond, I'm not sure how to get a map. I haven't played the game too much, but I am like 400, <laughs> level 400 and stuff. And, but I'm still not sure if you can get map in that game or not, but it's definitely not clear, so that's one thing I think the, both games could improve on, is a map of the place. And maybe like a help section that tells you like what you actually do in the game because I feel like at some point I was a bit lost. But anyways guys, that's going to be the points today. Comment below if you want me to make another one of these. There's still more points I could go through. I just went through four today and that was uh first one. What was the first one again? Combat? Then it was, uh what's it called again? How professional the game looked, how, how it was, how nice, how much effort had been put in the game. The third one was PvP, which I really liked. Uh, in terms of this game, and fourth was the fact that both games could have a map. Because if a map was introduced, it'd be so, you know, I, f I just feel like it'd be so much better. It'd just be so much easier to play. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, if you're feeling generous at least, <coughs> to subscribe <coughs> to get the, <coughs> oh god, to be to stay updated with, uh, with all the videos I make, and turn on notifications if you subscribe. But yeah, other than that, have a lovely day, and peace <laughs>